Here's a term you may not have heard before, fuel-efficient Humvee. Yes, it probably sounds like an oxymoron, but it could soon be a reality. Indianapolis-based Enerdell has won the contract to develop the battery pack for a new hybrid Humvee for the U.S. military. Yes, the civilian version of the Hummer has fallen out of favor with consumers because of the high oil and gasoline prices in recent years. But the military still values this multi-purpose vehicle for its combat missions. The new hybrid version of the Hummer promises to both save on fuel and also double as a power plant for a field hospital or a military outpost. Enerdell says the new hybrid Hummer will be faster and more powerful than its earlier versions. And some of the developments of that brand new Humvee hybrid battery was done in conjunction with Argonne National Laboratory. That's just outside Chicago. The program is part of the Department of Energy's mission to help reduce our nation's dependency on fossil fuels. Clean Skies' Lee Patrick Sullivan recently visited Argonne's campus and found out that although it's our nation's oldest lab, it's also producing cutting-edge vehicle technology. It's a good five and a half hour drive from Detroit, but the testing going on here at DOE's Argonne National Lab outside Chicago could prove to be a lifeline to the U.S. auto industry. The lab, our nation's oldest, just got an influx of new cash to expand its testing of lithium ion batteries. Ira Bloom's lab will more than double in size, so we asked him, in exchange for the increase in Department of Energy funding, what does Secretary Stephen Chu want from him? What does he want from me? <laughs> he wants a reliable source of information. That's my one charge. Right now, we can produ produce the information. It is extremely reliable, but the quantity is smaller than what is re really needed. With the ramp up in the battery development efforts, both funded by DOE and not, people want a bigger reservoir of information to be generated. And that reservoir has already produced countless results for the development of lithium ion batteries. Argonne's research on the cathodes inside the batteries is being used by BASF to make more efficient batteries. And Argonne is also taking the batteries out of the lab and onto the road. This is a plug-in electric hybrid Saturn View. Don't try to find one of these at your local dealer because they don't exist. Because we are leading edge work with our uh, ve uh, advanced vehicles, there was no such thing as buying a commercial plug-in hybrid vehicle. So we had to build our own here at Argonne. This testing facility lets the scientists at Argonne put batteries through real world experiments. The testing started more than two years ago, long before most people even knew what a plug-in hybrid was. So in order to make this prototype, Lee, what we took was a standard General Motors Saturn view and we took out, well what we added to it was the battery and an electric motor powertrain that's powering the rear wheels. So this isn't like the Chevy Volt where the, the combustion part of the engine is basically just a power plant to charge the battery. You have the ability right. to go both, correct? Very true. This is actually a configuration that we call a parallel okay. configuration where both can be working in unison or one or the other. And the Chevy Volt would not be that way. It's always using the electric powertrain motor. The facility also allows organizations like the Society of Auto Engineers to develop new testing standards for plug-in electric vehicles. Want to know how your car company can determine the life cycle of a lithium ion battery, even though there are none on the road today? That testing was done here at Argonne. There's actually an inter interplay that goes on between our research engineers and the research engineers in the auto companies talking about latest developments and sharing of ideas, if you will. And the data gained from the sharing of those ideas is open to the public, reducing the amount of costly testing auto companies have to do to perfect their products. What do you think will be the result when you're done, let's say, uh, 10 years from now? What do you hope to gain from this uh, experience? Well, we're going to be looking at ways that we can better utilize the electric power as a renewable fuel and also be looking at how we can best cost reduce these particular vehicles so that they will have a higher penetration rate into our nation's fleet. Now all the data gathered from testing here at this facility can be used by the big three so they can perfect their plug-in electric vehicles. In Lamont, Illinois at Argonne National Laboratory, Lee Patrick Sullivan, Clean Skies News.